So you're thinking of moving to Phoenix, Arizona, or one of its surrounding cities. So today, I am here to tell you all about Scottsdale, Air. Oh, my... <laughs> Scottsdale, Arizona, and everything you need to know to make sure Scottsdale, Arizona is the right place for you. So let's uh, let's jump in. What's up, everyone? I am Andrea Sheppy, realtor with HomeSmart Valley Solutions Team, elite group out here in Phoenix, Arizona. And I love helping people who are relocating to Phoenix, who are moving from city to city, I am a local, I am a native, I am born and raised in Phoenix, and I have so much pride. It's such a wonderful place to live. So if you need help buying or selling a home and relocating here, I would just love to help you. So definitely reach out. Here is my contact info. And besides that, let's jump into finding all about Scottsdale, shall we? So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you guys. So right here, as you guys can see, I have outlined Scottsdale on a map. So if you watched my other videos, then you'll know that this whole section is Maricopa County, right? So Maricopa County, you guys, is so big. A lot of people moving here don't realize when they say Phoenix, how big we really are. We have so many amazing surrounding cities and Phoenix, you know, is right in here. And you guys right here is Scottsdale. So let's zoom in. As you can see, Scottsdale is considered the East Valley. The 17 is the main freeway. It's actually our first freeway and it runs through the city. And that kind of, for the most part, divides a lot of what people consider East and West. So over here for Scottsdale, you can see it's also very, very long. So very similar to Phoenix, right? And North Scottsdale is nothing like South Scottsdale. And then you also have Old Town Scottsdale and just so many, so many cool places. So down here, you guys, in South Scottsdale, you are bordered by Tempe, which has ASU and a ton of awesome entertainment areas. You've got downtown Phoenix here, and then you've got Phoenix in here, also Arcadia and Paradise Valley. And then up here, this is more Phoenix, so there is a magic zip code in here. And then up here, you've got Desert Ridge area. And again, this is all considered Phoenix. And then you've got Cape Creek and Carefree. Over here, you have the beautiful Tonto National Forest. You've got Rio Verde, and this goes over into uh, the mountains. Then down here, you have our Indian Reservation and our casinos. And then again, you come down and you've got your East Valley, Mesa, and then et cetera, et cetera. So that, you guys, as you can see, how big Scottsdale really is, right? It is very large. So if you say, hey, I want to buy a home in Scottsdale, it's like, okay, well, where? Because you can have your nightlife, you can have your mountains, you can have your, you know, multi, multi million dollar homes, you can have your retirement areas, and you can also have your, you know, a little bit closer to the younger crowd and the ASU and the going out area. So it really is so different in every part of Scottsdale. So let's zoom in a little bit first here. So as you can see, South Scottsdale is a bit closer to, I would say, an entertainment area because you are close to ASU, which is down here. And then over here, this is considered like an Arcadia and there's tons of amazing places in here too. So, um, and then old towns right in here. So a lot of people like vacationing in this area, um, living in this area, it's a little bit more affordable down here. And then as you get further North, it does get a bit more expensive. And then when you get up here, it is just uh, beautiful. And then it gets very, very expensive up here and a lot more mountainous and things like that. So right here, you guys, you have the 101. The 101 is an amazing freeway, cuts all the way through Scottsdale, or comes all the way down into the East Valley. So with the 101, the traffic is actually really, really good. Even for events, it's not too bad. Now, when we do the open and things like that up here in Westworld, it does get a little congested. But in general, you guys, the freeway system in all of Phoenix really is pretty good. So you also have really beautiful mountain views out here when you're driving on it. So it is a really stunning drive. So 
Um, other than that, that's kind of the only freeway that actually goes through there. I mean, you get close down here to your 202 and stuff, but it is relatively easy. Uh, Phoenix in general is on a grid system. So a lot of our roads do kind of, you know, run in uh, east, west, north, south. There's not a lot of crazy curves over here. So it is um, really nice to get around. So as you guys can see, I kind of zoomed into South Scottsdale. South Scottsdale used to be... Um, not as expensive as it is now, but it has carried down. A lot of people are flipping homes down here. There's also a ton of Airbnbs down here. And actually, I will tell you, Scottsdale is passing some laws to lighten up because there are so many complaints because there are so many Airbnbs. I mean, it's crazy. In South Scottsdale, it's wild, you guys, literally on every street. And, you know, if you live there full time and it's your primary residence, of course, having people, you know, bachelorette parties and bachelor parties and just whoever, <laughs> people do get a little crazy. And so, uh, you know, some people are a little upset about it, but that is kind of what South Scottsdale uh, does have a lot of Airbnbs. Just want to throw that out there for you guys. Now, of course, they're everywhere, but it is highly saturated down here. So um, as you get up further, you have your old town and you have Fashion Square. You guys, Fashion Square Mall is one of the nicest in the nation. It has literally every store, every shopping you could imagine. It has wonderful cuisine. We have really wonderful uh, chefs. Scottsdale is known for sure for its luxury. So there is very, very um, high end areas uh, around Old Town and it's really, really fun. Old Town Scottsdale is definitely a party scene. People call it mini Las Vegas. And so when you get closer to here, that is why there's so many uh, rent Airbnbs and stuff down here, because people like to really go and uh, party in Old Town. So so now, you guys, this right here as well, ooh, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> this right here, you guys, is the Scottsdale Green Belt. And so the Scottsdale Green Belt is awesome. You can ride your bike. Um, people come out here and they go for power walks and it's 11 miles long and it's just gorgeous. People love living by it. They're always out there playing Frisbee or just kind of hanging out in the park. And it's just a really, really cool uh, green belt that people really, really enjoy, you know, uh, skating or rollerblading, things like that. I don't know, do people rollerblade anymore? But uh, I, I do see some on here and uh, it, it's actually really difficult. So um, you won't see me rollerblading, but you will see people doing all kinds of fun, uh, healthy activities and your dogs. Oh my gosh, there's dogs everywhere. Every restaurant in Scottsdale has a patio because we love our pooches and we bring them everywhere with us. And so anyhow, uh, you're going to see a lot of dogs in here as well. Now, as we get up a little bit more, you guys, we have McCormick Ranch and we have Ganey Ranch, and these are really beautiful communities. Uh, McCormick Park, which I used to go to as a child. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. So they have a little railroad and we used to go on it and they would do picnics. And um, now they, you know, there's food trucks and all kinds of cool stuff. And then you also have McCormick Ranch and these are just really nice luxury areas. You have golf in there and the resorts in here, you guys are amazing definitely, definitely very high end. And over here, you're going to border Paradise Valley, which is one of the wealthiest zip codes in the nation. And so that is kind of why it spills over to Scottsdale, why this whole area gets very expensive. So this area is a little bit older, by the way, South Scottsdale is also older. The homes for the most part are going to be, a lot of them don't have garages and things like that, but um, still, you know, a lot of them, you can convert it, things like that too. So Coming back up here, so we're kind of in central Scottsdale, Old Town. Uh, oh, the Great Wolf Lodge, you guys, is so, so cool. This is uh, newer. I guess it depends when you're watching this video. Um, but this is great for entertaining, like family. They have an awesome indoor water park. And so that's a really big uh, plus for people out there as well. And you guys, this is all of our Indian reservation. And we do have casinos in here. We have Talking Stick. Over here is uh, Scottsdale Ranch. This is an amazing area, really great uh, community and they have their own lakes and they do their own events as well. If you continue out this way, then you end up hitting Fountain Hills, which is really beautiful, but that's another video. And now you guys were getting a little bit more into what we consider like North Scottsdale. We have the TPC Scottsdale, which is a huge golf venue. And every year they do the waste management open or people call it the wasted management open because it's just a huge party thing. Um, it's really, really fun. 
uh, people come out every year from all across the country. And so that's really cool. You've got McDowell Mountain Ranch. You've got Greyhawk. You've got uh, Desert Highlands. You've got Troon. And you guys, this area just gets, it's so, so pretty. I'll show you some of the houses in here. It does get very expensive in here. Um, multi, multi-million dollar homes. You can find, you know, some condos and stuff like that for, mm, five to 800,000 probably, but, um, you know, they're small and it's a condo. So whereas in South Scottsdale, you can actually get a home for five or 600,000. So as you get up here, of course, anytime you see an AJ's, you know, that means you're in a really great area. Um, then you've got boulders, desert mountains is where, uh, my family friends live and, uh, Mirabelle's really gorgeous. And so this is just like living in heaven up here because the mountains and the views are just so, so gorgeous, you guys. So that is kind of a quick overview of what uh, Scottsdale looks like. And you guys, there is entertainment all throughout Scottsdale. There is resorts, there is restaurants, there are spas, there are golf courses, you know, all throughout Scottsdale. It really is known for its golf courses and its luxury spas and everything. So um, no matter where you are in Scottsdale, you will find uh, some kind of entertainment. You guys, it is, it is just known for being awesome. So that being said, let me push over to uh, let's talk a little bit about, I'm on uh, niche.com. And so this is re a really great website, you guys, to find different cities and kind of um, the ratings and the rankings and the demographics and education levels and income levels and things like that. So as you can see, you guys, this is crazy. Scottsdale is the best city to retire in America. That's insane. So not surprised. We have tons of retirees here and they're all like really great. Um, a lot of them are only here in the winter, but it is just, you know, our weather and our outdoor activities just brings people here all the time. And we're actually, look at this, one of the best cities to live in America. So, I mean, you can't beat that, right? We do have really great schools in Scottsdale as well. Um, it's one of the healthiest cities, it says in America. And I, I don't doubt that for a second. We have been dubbed like a mini LA as well. And that is because everyone out here, I will say, uh, is very in shape, very healthy, loves taking care of themselves. So lots of beautiful people in Scottsdale, if that is what you're looking for. So let's take a look at the home profile. Okay, so has a grade of an A. And it shows you right here, kind of the populations and let's, so by the way, don't look at this median home value because that is for all of Scottsdale. But if you get into North Scottsdale, that would be a joke. That would not be the median home value. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so expensive up there. So, okay, you guys, here are the residents. So it gives a B plus for uh, diversity, kind of shows you a mix of ages. So you can see we have a large population of uh, 55, 65 plus. And so let's take a look at more about Scottsdale residents, population, uh, you know, very family oriented and just a really nice uh, place to live. So if you can afford it, Scottsdale is definitely awesome. And you can see the education levels here, the racial diversity here uh, and things like that. So anyhow, that is kind of a little touch on uh, Scottsdale demographics. You guys, something else to point out is we do have Taliesin West, which was um, built by Frank Lloyd Wright. And it is so, so beautiful. If you do come visit, you should absolutely go there. You can tour it. And um, it's just, if you like architecture, obviously, you know who he, who he is or was. And um, it's just a really, really cool uh, place to go. So I will actually be there soon for a poetry event. So um, anyhow, it's it's really, really cool. So Taliesin is right there. We also have really great health care. I should point that out. Uh, we have the Mayo Clinic, which people come from around the world. And so that is going to be um, up here as well. So, all right, you guys. So here are homes for sale, right? So I look at this. So right now, right, we have 1,562 homes for sale in Scottsdale. Now, if I go list price right here, under 500,000, 199. That's how expensive Scottsdale is. Let's zoom in and I'll show you some stuff um, down here in South Scottsdale and kind of what you can get for the money. And so right here, you've got, let's take a look at this guy. And okay, so for sale and for rent. So let's jump here. 
So you can see the rent for something like this is 2,500 a month. It's a three, two, 1150 square feet, 500,000. Okay. So let's take a look at some photos. So, okay. So here's what the front of a lot of South Scottsdale homes look like you guys. Um, older, I told you not a lot of garages and, um, you know, just that kind of older feel, but 500,000 it, you know, like I said, it's probably remodeled inside and it is. So this is looking really nice. And this is totally going to be your average home in South Scottsdale, you know, a little bit smaller, how you're probably going to have a decent yard. Yeah. Look at that. That's a huge yard. So some of these, you do get really great yards. And again, when you get some new builds out here, you don't get a yard like at all. So it is nice to buy an older home and have those yards, right? So like right here, let's take a look. Okay. So you've got 485. Let's see what this guy is. So this here. Okay. So you've got a three, two, and let's take a look at the photos. And look, okay, so really cute yard and really beautiful inside. So definitely updated. And so um, again, you can see, okay, so around 500 is going to get you a basic three, two. It's going to have, you know, a nice yard and it'll depend if you have a garage or not. But again, you can convert it and, um, you know, really beautiful yard right here. So you can kind of see, again, that is what you get for your money in South Scottsdale. Okay, so let's get up closer to Old Town and kind of see what we can find. So what is this guy? Okay, 595. Let's take a look at this one. And okay, so one bedroom, one bath. And this is in a really cool building in the lofts. And so let's take a look at this. And so you guys, there's so many live work play, uh, live work areas in Scottsdale and uh, where you can just, you know, walk to Fashion Square Mall, walk to Old Town, things like that. And this is, uh, for instance, a loft and look how amazing this is and beautiful light. You know, we get so much sunlight out here. Um, so, you know, 600,000 for a one, one sounds expensive, but your location, 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 right? That is really uh, what you're paying for. So uh, this is just a totally darling and gorgeous place. And look, you can get your Hagen Dogs ice cream uh, right from uh, your place. So that is when you get really close to Old Town, that is what you're going to start seeing. The prices are going to go up. And of course, you're going to get less square footage, but again, you're paying for your location. So 719 for a 22. Uh, and let's take a look at this guy so you can see. And uh, this is beautiful, also redone. I'm actually really loving that darker tile. I know some people may not, but this is just a really uh, suave and swanky uh, bachelor pad is what I would say. And so um, this is obviously going to be the lobby. So again, a lot of really cool uh, live workplaces where right out your door, you can go and um, you know, be in entertainment. Right. And so a lot of these places come with gyms and stuff like that as well. So start, you know, moving over. So Chaparral dog park is huge. You guys, uh, this is always busy. So many people with their dogs and just totally love it. So let's see what you can get over here. Okay. So 725, let's check that guy out for a three, two and a half. And let's take a look here. And wow, this is really beautiful. So this is going to be a town home and you've got your garage and stuff though. And so uh, just really beautiful. Probably I didn't check the year, but uh, definitely a newer built home, probably in the last few years. And so they are building a lot of these, uh, you know, townhomes that are multiple levels, kind of like row homes on the East coast. You're going to have three levels and your garage will be below you and you're going to have neighbors, but you're going to have entertainment, you know, right around you. So this is a, um, a really, really cute community and, um, you're not really going to get yards with a lot of these, but again, it is just going to be the location is really what you are paying for. Right. So that is kind of right by the dog park. And then let's see you guys, as we get closer. So McCormick ranch is amazing. I love it again, a little bit older, but, um, such a really, really cool community. And look, so here is one 785 and it's going to be right by the water over there. And it's a two, two. Yep. So waterfront and let's take a look. Okay. So yeah. So really, really cute. Again, you've got your townhomes. Uh, now these are a little bit older, like I said, but still just really wonderful feeling. Um, I know a lot of people, again, try to Airbnb these out. So this guy looks like might need a little bit of updating. 
but look at those views. And so again, and your location. So that is really what you're paying for when you're in Scottsdale, because you have like world-class entertainment, world-class cuisine, and just so many wonderful things. So as you can see, as we've been moving north on this map here, you guys, it is getting a little bit, you know, more expensive. And the further we get, the more expensive it'll get. You guys, let's see, let me pump it up a little bit now. Let's try um, a million and see what happens. Okay, so we get more and more and more, right? So um, as we get further north, so let's let's look at some, so there's Mayo, you guys. And um, here's Desert Ridge. Now this is Phoenix, but anyhow, this is where I grew up. So it's been really cool to see everything like grow and change and stuff. But so let's take a quick look in Lay Magic zip code. And so 860, and you guys, these are usually really large lots and just really amazing neighborhoods. I loved growing up over here. Um, I, my house was not this nice, but, um, it was just a really, a really great area in my opinion for families, if, uh, you can afford to live over here. So as you can see, this is a four bed, two bath, and it is 2,300 square feet. And so, um, just a really great spacious home. You've got your high ceilings and, you know, you might need a little bit of updating, but because you're in that really awesome area of the Phoenix Scottsdale border by Mayo and Desert Ridge, uh, you know, this is what you get for your money because you are paying for your location. So keep that in mind in Scottsdale, you're paying for your location, but also look at this yard. This is beautiful. So eight fifty nine really not a bad price for the area, at least for uh, right now. Anyhow, so that is kind of that area by Mayo Clinic, you guys. Scottsdale Airport, this is a really, really um, cute, pretty airport. Lots of celebrities fly in and out of here. Now, you guys, as we kind of cruise east of the 101, you're going to get really into the mountain areas. And this area does get very expensive. And you've got McDowell Mountain Ranch, which I have some friends that live here. This is a really wonderful uh, community, according to my friends, for uh, to raise a family in. And the average home is around, uh, probably around a million. So $9.89 for a 3-2. But the amenities you get in a lot of these communities, you guys, is really, really cool. And the houses are going to be, a lot of them are going to be remodeled. And obviously, you can tell how beautiful and so what a, a great home. So this is roughly what a million dollars will get you in the uh, central to North Scottsdale area. So, and a lot of these will have community pools and things like that too. So don't think you're going to pay a million dollars and not get a pool though. In some places you might <laughs> and let's go to Greyhawk. You guys, I remember when Greyhawk was being built, um, one of our friends bought a home out here and it was far and we were like, you're really far away. The roads were dirt. And um, now Greyhawk is a phenomenal place. It's a really cool place. You are going to find a lot of townhomes and stuff in there. Again, as you hear a condo. So a 2-2 for four sixty nine. dollars Guys, that's really not bad at all. <laughs> if you're interested in this, give me a call. Um, anyhow, so just a really adorable place. And, you know, you probably won't have much of a yard, but Okay, so you just have a patio, but you know what? Greyhawk, the amenities are fantastic. It's also a golf club. And so you're going to have your community pools and, and see, look at that. It's beautiful. So you don't get a yard, but you know, it's your, it's your condo and it's your location. And, um, you know, it's like resort style living, right. And you've got your gym and it's gated. So that is what a lot of the North Scottsdale areas are known for. Okay. As we keep going, you guys, you are going to see some of the most gorgeous homes. And so let's pop it up to 2 million. Okay. And so let's zoom in now. So Troon, you guys, is so, so beautiful. Uh, if you drive over here, oh my gosh, like the mountains are so cool. It's just such a, such a cool community. And so you've got 1.85 over here in Troon. And let's take a look there. So four bed, four bath, 30, uh, 3,700 square feet. As you can see, really gorgeous place. And so you guys kind of get the idea of um, what these homes look like. So very uh, desert feeling there. A lot of them are made to kind of blend in with the mountains behind them. As far as the colors go, a lot of stucco. And so just really, really gorgeous homes. This one looks like it's on the golf course. And, and so that is what you're going to get for getting close to 2 million up here in North Scottsdale. 
Okay, you guys. So that is kind of what you'll get in Troon. There's also, um, there's just so many great communities over here. You've got Desert Highlands, which is a guard gated community. And that one is, that's really gorgeous too. Uh, let's see, let's check out this guy. So 1.8 million. And that is a three, three and a half. People just absolutely go nuts for it. I mean, look at these views. So you can definitely see why people pay a pretty penny to live out here, right? It's just uh, a gorgeous area. <clears throat> like I said, we have family friends over here. And whenever we head out to their house, it's just uh, stunning. So it feels like you're living in a resort. So, um, but I will say you guys, the further you get up here, um, you know, your drive <clears throat> from this North area, it is pretty far to get all the way down to Phoenix. So um, a lot of these people are going to probably fly out of Scottsdale Air Park. But if you are going to Sky Harbor, which is our main airport, you know, if you've got traffic, this is probably going to take like an hour or so. We'll just love Scottsdale because of the swankiness of it and just the beauty. So again, Scottsdale is really known to be one of the greatest places to live in the country. So, um, okay, you guys, so that is a quick overview on all of Scottsdale. And I will have to do another one about strictly just Scottsdale's entertainment because there's so many cool areas, you guys, where you can go out and hang out and do all kinds of awesome things, right? All right, you guys, that was my quick map tour of Scottsdale. I hope you found it useful. I hope you can see what you get for your money, what the homes look like, you know, how much you're probably going to need to spend in different areas. And if you are interested in purchasing in Scottsdale, definitely reach out to me, call, text, send me an email, set up a Zoom call on my Calendly. All of that is in my bio and in my comments as well. So definitely check that out. Again, I love helping people relocate here or move city to city. I am from here. I grew up just next to Scottsdale in North Phoenix. So I've been all over Scottsdale and just such a wonderful place to live. So anyhow, you guys, I really appreciate everyone watching and liking all uh, seven of you. <laughs> so anyway, um, definitely reach out, you guys, if you have any questions. I hope you have a wonderful day and um, I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.